Yeah, welcome to my channel. It's been a while on my chemistry channel because I was busy with some other research. So today I'll be taking you guys on your chemistry practical for NECO 2021, the guide. A extensive guide on the NECO practical. And the practical I'll be talking about is mainly on salt analysis. And the salt we want to analyze is ammonia carbonate. And when talking about this ammonia carbonate, they are unstable when it and you can easily perceive the odor because they easily give off an ammonia gas. And now, look at what you have on the bench here. We have the... I'll be using this baking powder to substitute ammonium carbonate. And again, we have dilute HCl, we have barium chloride and sodium hydroxide with conch HCl. And when talking about this salt analysis of ammonia, there are other things you ought to know when talking about this. Because when talking about this ammonium chloride, we ought to know the test, the observation, and the inference. And with that, I have my litmus paper here. And when talking about the base, we have to use red litmus paper because it turns red litmus to blue. So now, let's begin with the practical. Now, yeah, here is my test too. And for you to carry the first practical out, you have to bring out your red litmus paper then where you must it. That is, you have to wet the litmus paper. Then after that, you can use this our spatula now. Just pick half spatula of this, pour it into the test tube. So we have this, as you can see. You pour it in the water, into the test tube. So the next thing to do is that, we, are, we have our wash bottle here. We pour the distilled water into the test tube. So, you can see it now. So the next thing to do is that we have to moist our red litmus paper. And again, because we are substituting the baking powder for ammonium chloride, it won't change fast. It takes like a few minutes before it turns but it's going to give us the result we needed even in the place of ammonium carbonate. So let's moss this. You can see it. So, we place it into the beaker. If we are using ammonium carbonate, we don't have to what, put in the litmus paper into the test tube. So now, we have it in this form. As you can see. So now, let's look at this particular litmus paper for some minutes. It's going to turn the red litmus paper blue. So let's observe it. As you can see, it's changing gradually. You can see? So it means that this ammonium carbonate or the baking powder we are using replace the ammonium carbonate. And don't forget, if we can't find the ammonium carbonate, we can use sodium or we can use baking powder or we use baking soda. So as you can see, it's changing gradually. So to tell us how was this particular, so under your test, it said sample C plus distilled water. Again, sample C plus distilled water. So the observation would be sample C turns red litmus blue. And what will be written to the inference? So you can say sample C liberates an alkaline gas because an alkaline gas change a red litmus paper to blue. So the next one to do is that we are to let's continue with this. Sample C in water. So when you pour this our sample C now. So I'm going to pick up another test tube. And we can decide to continue like this now. So now let's pour our dilute HCl into this particular sample C now. Just a few drops of it. As you can see, what do you observe it? It is called an evaporescence. It evolves because anytime you get a mineral, when you open it, a particular gas will come out. It is called what? Evaporescence. And with this particular evaporescence, with what you can see with your eye now, that it's turned what? Lime water what? Mickey. 
That's the observation. The first observation is that when you pour the dilute ACL into this sample scene, as you cannot see, it what? It evolved. So evaporating. <laughs> so it turns lime water what? Mickey. And when you swap to feel the what? The odor. When you swap to feel the what? The odor. It is what? Odorless. So now, that is the observation. And what is the inference? The inference is that from carbon dioxide, which is our CO2, and don't forget that our carbon dioxide, so it is what? Colorless. Odorless. Are you with me now? And it's not, and so from carbon dioxide, I'm sorry, from carbon dioxide, the inference will now be from carbon dioxide to what? Carbonates. That is, from CO2 to CO3 confirmed. So the next thing to do is that we have to pour this out. So I will decide to pick up another test too. And now, the next thing to test is now we are going to use our sample C, which is our baking powder, with sodium hydroxide. Our sample C with sodium hydroxide. Then, after the sodium hydroxide, because we are not provided with a boiling to be a, a warm water, so I'm, I'm going to decide to provide by using this candle in place of the bone C boner. So now, when you pour your, your sample C into this test tube before we carry out the experiment, a little drops of sodium hydroxide, a dilute sodium hydroxide plus it. So we are going to look at the what? The observation. So let's take a look at it now. This is our sample C we pour it in the beaker with a little this still what? Water. So when you have this, are you listening now? These are some see with this still water plus few drops of sodium hydroxide. So as you can see, so what I'm perceiving here is a shocking or irritating smell. A shocking or irritating smell that is the observation it is shocking and what irritating smell and again now as i told you guys earlier that when we are using this baking powder in place of ammonium carbonate it takes time before the red lipos paper turns blue as you can see it has come to what blue yes or no are you with me now so now with what we have now with what i perceive can you get me now I perceive what it's shocking or irritating smell. So now, if I decided to pick up a litmus paper, or if I want to test my sample C with dilute sodium hydroxide, what I will what observe there is what a choking smell. So on testing this particular gas on litmus paper, we all know that it's going to what turn red litmus paper to what blue. I mean. Yes. So that is what a good example of an alkali. Just pour it a little on the litmus paper, as you can see. So after some minutes, it's going to change from the red to what? The blue. The blue. So to tell you that what baking powder can also substitute ammonium carbonate. So now class, in, what are you guys to taste? Say what I mean. Your sample C, which is our ammonium carbonate, which is being substituted with baking powder. Are you with me now? So, you pour your dilute sodium hydroxide there. What do we observe? We can see we observe what? A choking or irritating smell. So, on testing it on litmus paper, it turns our red litmus paper to what? Blue. Are you getting it now? So, what do you observe there? The observation there is that on testing it on litmus paper, are you with me now? Yes, sir. So, what we are going to write as our inference. Because in this kind of test, ammonium chloride is also what? Noted. Is also what? Observed. Or noted in this. Or let's say ammonium chloride is suspended. But if you want to write your inference on it now, it is showing us what? Ammonium ion. What did I call it? Ammonium ion. What did I call it? Ammonium ion. So the next thing to do is that I will pour this out. Then I will decide to use another test tube. And we can see continue like this. Our sample C, 
Sample C, a little, it, just ask Patty Love, sample C. Then, your dilute sodium hydroxide. What did I call it? Dilute sodium hydroxide. So, why you call it, as you can see, nothing changes there. Abby? Are you with me now? So, if we are to work this, and again, before we go to another one now, the other one, when you work it, it's still going to give you our ammonium ion. So, now, our sample C plus dilute HCl. Are you with me now? Plus, this is our HCl. Sorry, this is the pump HCl. And here we have our what? Dilute sodium hydroxide. Here we have our dilute what? HCl. So when you pour your dilute HCl into this, so you can see it fills. What did I call it? And you can see now. So when you shake, so you know before it is more or less a a make you color. Now what are you observing now? Give us a word. A white precipitate. What did I call it? White so now let's eat it. Let's see what we are going to observe when we eat it. Are you getting it now? If it's going to change the color or not. So let's see. So how do you place it? The same under your test. Your, your sample C plus dilute sodium hydroxide. Plus dilute HCl. So, want to observe it now? Let's see. So, as you can see, the thing is, yeah, I can, I can see some bubbles here. But don't forget, we are going to have a white precipitate. Under the observation, are you with me now? Or we call it fumes because when I pour the ACL into the sample C with dilute sodium hydroxide, it has the fumes forms. Are you getting it now? So, or we call it a what? A white precipitate. A white what? Precipitate. So, when we eat it now, so let me use my tissue to remove the white, the black, the same. Class, what, what do you observe? What do you observe? Eh? You can see now. What is this? Is not white? Yes. So white precipitate, right? Mm -hmm. And where you have the white PPT now? So in case I ask you, please, because your examiner will never tell you that you should use this or this. But let's note your sample C when it's been mixed with dilute sodium hydroxide, which is what you have here. Our dilute HCl, which is what we have here now. And where you eat it, you are going to have a White precipitate, what did I call it? White precipitate. What did I call it? White precipitate. And when you have that white precipitate, it is called that this particular thing is being observed under it and it is called sodium chloride. It's called what? Sodium chloride. So when you have a white precipitate, a sodium, sorry, not sodium chloride, ammonium chloride is being what? Observed. It's been what? Observed. It's been what? Observed. So under the inference, what are we going to write? That is, it means you are going to write that for every sample C, which is our ammonium chloride, sorry, ammonium carbonate plus dilute sodium hydroxide and dilute HCl plus eating, or either you place it on water bait or our boiling water too, is going to be going, going to form what we call a white precipitate. A white what? Precipitate. Which is what we can see here. And when you form that particular white precipitate, we also observe ammonium chloride under it. So now, under our inference, it's going to be written as that we observe ammonium ion. Observe what? Ammonium ion. So our inference is what? Ammonium ion. Our inference is what? Ammonium ion. Our inference is what? Ammonium ion. So the next thing to do is that I'll decide to call this house now. Then I'll pick up another test too. That is neat. So what I'm going to do is that we are going to put our sample C into the test tube as usual. And when you have your sample C into the test tube, so the next thing to do is that we have to pour 5 centimeters of water. 
into our sample C. How many liters of water? Five. So we have this. So when you have a sample C now, so class, we are done using what? Sodium hydroxide now. So let's move to our barium chloride. What do I call it? Barium chloride. So now, which is what you have here as you can see. So you open it, you pour a little of your barium chloride into the sample C with water. Do you observe anything here? Do you observe anything? Yes. So what do you observe? Yes. Some God bless you. Some what? Bubbles. Abby? Yes. At the top of the listen. So he's telling you that when you pour your sample C using barium chloride, it is insoluble. It is what? Insoluble. Which is what you have at the top. It is what? Insoluble. Yes. And when particular thing that you observe is insoluble, are you with now? So when it is insoluble, what observe there? Or what is our inference? That is SO4 to minus. SO3 to minus and CO3 to minus is being suspected. Is what? Suspected. Is what? So now, with what you have here now, again, your sample C plus water plus barium chloride. Are you getting it now? We have some bubbles, Abby. It's telling us what? That particular thing is insoluble. Are you with me now? Yes, and when it is insoluble, our inference is that SO4 to minus. SO32 minus and CO3 is being suspected. It's been what? Suspected. It's been what? Suspected. And again, not one thing. If it is insoluble, it, it shows that your SO4 is being confirmed. It's been what? Confirmed. It's been what? Confirmed. So now, looking at what you have here now, I think we are going to run up in a few minutes. Looking at what you have here, if we should eat it. So let's see. Where we eat it now? Or on either a boiling tube. Let's see what we are going to have. Wait, 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 wait. So, do you observe anything here? Do you observe anything? Do you observe anything? Class, do you observe anything there? Yes, it's what? You can see what you observe here is what? A white precipitate. A what? White precipitate. Observation is what? A white precipitate, right? Yes. A white what? Precipitate. So now, the next thing is listen attentively. So, what you are going to do next is that your sample C plus 5 centimeters of water, which is this, our little drops of barium chloride plus conk ACL. Conk what? Yes. So let's try it. We have this. Just a few drops. What do you observe? Evaporation. What do you observe? What do you observe there? So, and it's turned lime water Mickey. It turns what? Lime water It turns what? Lime water It turns what? Lime water So now, what do we observe here? Our, our inference is that when it's in a tons lime water Mickey, from so it shows a what a carbonate. A what? A what? A what? Again, before we round up the class, I would love to go back to the way we started the work, the practical. So look at what you have on board. I said you have to own a moist litmus paper. And when you pour that on your you pour your moist litmus paper, which is your red your, your red. Then you pour yourself a C plus water. Listen attentively. So, as soon as you just place the litmus paper into the test tube, it turns what? From red to what? Blue. From red to what? Blue. So now, and our observation is that what? Sample C liberates an alkaline gas. So the next one is our sample C plus dilute ACL. As I've shown you guys earlier, it's going to what? Evolve. Evolve and anyway, we have your evaporescent, so it means it is colorless, odorless, and it turns lime water Mickey. And what do we observe there? What we observe is what? Carbonate. Our inference with what? Carbonate. So the next thing is our sample C, which is being substituted, or you know, our baking powder, as I told you earlier, that it's being substituted or it's being replaced 
with what? Ammonium carbonate. So when you pour this into the test tube, then with our dilute sodium hydroxide plus it, are you with me now? So when you pour it, what are these observed there? We give all the words a clear PPT, that is a white precipitate. We have what? A white PPT, are you getting it now? And it is colorless, odorless. So our inference in there is from what? From ammonia to ammonium ion. And if we decide to continue like that, then we pour our dilute HCl into that particular thing. We are going to have a what? A fuse of formed from ammonium chloride. And with that, ammonium is what? Present. Resting as the inference. So the last one is our sample C plus 5 cm of water plus barium chloride. We have a white precipitate. It is Sorry, it will have one word, a white precipitate. Before I move to that, when you pour your sample C plus sodium hydroxide, we have a choking or irritating smell. So take note of that. So I'll show you guys a guide to the qualitative analysis of the 2021 NECO Pratica. Don't forget to subscribe, watch, share among your friends. Thanks.